Blender is a free and open source 3D creation suite. It supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline. We're going to break down all the essential functions that this 3D program is capable of and how it is being used. Number one, modeling. Blender has a comprehensive array of modeling tools for making, creating, transforming, and editing your 3D models. Blender also has a lot of modifiers which are automatic operators that affect objects in a non-destructive way to gain time and to make the modeling process easier and efficient. Blender has UV unwrapping tools that are strong and superior to some of the 3D programs used in game development and VFX industry. Blender allows for fast cube, cylinder, sphere, and camera projections, conformal and angle-based unwrapping with edge seams and vertex painting, painting directly onto the mesh, multiple UV layers, and layout image exporting. Blender has a lot of cool modeling add-ons that have been ported to the new versions and it will allow you to take your modeling game to the next level. Among these are Box Cutter, Hard Ops, and Mesh Machine. Blender has been used by beginners and professionals to create amazing 3D models over the years using the modeling tools it offers. And there are lots of professional artists that use its features as a secret weapon or a last resort when they can't do their work in their main 3D program. Number 2. Sculpting Blender offers polygonal modeling. In addition to that, you can sculpt as well, which is a great thing because in other 3D packages, you have to switch software to ZBrush or Mudbox. Blender's ability to sculpt simplifies the transition between conceptual research and final model production. Sculpting in Blender can be achieved using lots of tools like 20 different brush types, multi-res sculpting support, dynamic topology sculpting, and mirrored sculpting. Sculpting is an important part of creating characters, props, and even environmental elements. Using Blender's sculpting tools is going to allow you to create even more complicated and detailed 3D models with finer details and you will have better results overall compared to relying only on polygonal modeling. Number 3. Rigging and Animation when it comes to animation, Blender has a good reputation because it can be a strong and reliable 3D program when animation is needed. Blender Animation Feature Set offers Character Animation Pose Editor, Nonlinear Animation for Independent Movements, IK Forward, Inverse Kinematics for Fast Poses, and Sound Synchronization to name a few. Rigging also can be done using Blender, which is a very important process that comes before animation. Rigging allows animators to transform a model into a poseable character that can move freely and do any kind of animation needed. Blender offers an impressive set of rigging tools including envelope, skeleton and automatic skinning, easy weight painting, mirror functionality, bone layers and colored groups for organization, and B-spline interpolated bones. Number 4. Effects and Simulations Simulations and effects are an important part of any 3D program and Blender has developed over the years to cover this area of production properly. Blender can do lots of simulations from fire, smoke, fluids, hair, cloth, rigid bodies, and particles. Even though Blender has seen a lot of growth when it comes to simulations and effects, it is still being pushed further by independent developers and artists who are creating new tools and new ways of generating particles, simulations, and so on thanks to Blender being an open source 3D program. There are actually effects artists creating amazing looking simulations that are breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking! You wouldn't believe that Blender can do these amazing simulations, especially if all you hear about it is that it is free and for hobbyists. Number 5. Rendering In Blender, you can use a powerful rendering engines which are Cycles and EV. Also, you can use external renderers that can be integrated with it. But for the most part, Cycles and EV are great rendering engines that can create amazing results. Cycles, which is Blender's ray trace based production render engine, has lots of features like Unidirectional path tracing with multiple important sampling, multi core CPU rendering with SIMD acceleration, GPU rendering with NVIDIA CUDA and AMD OpenGL, multi GPU support, unified rendering kernel for CPU and GPU. Also, EV is a great engine that added a lot to what you can do rendering in Blender, like bridging the gap between offline and real time rendering. You can pre-visualize cycles shading with great accuracy in real time in the viewport and significantly speed up the shading and texturing process. Number 6. Concept Art 
Even though Blender is a 3D program, it is actually being used by professional concept artists to get their job done. Concept art is not created entirely in Photoshop or 2D applications in general because you can use 3D in order to accelerate the creation process, make it a little bit easier and way more accurate. A lot of 3D artists use 3D programs in concept art because they want to get the proportions and perspective right and this can be of a huge help later in the next processes of creating their art. In these days learning 3D in concept art is a very good thing to do because with the growth of the industry and the changes that are happening 3D is required more and more even though it is not a really essential thing in concept art. Since concept artist's job is not heavily dependent on 3D they need something powerful and low in cost. Blender is there to fulfill this need. I think this is a good choice because they have other software and licenses that they have to pay for in order to create their illustrations. Why would they use a 3D software other than Blender? But the fact is there are some concept artists using 3ds max and maya for their work but i would say that these guys are invested in 3d and they made their choice to use that kind of software number seven story art you don't expect a 3d program to do story art but blender does that you can draw directly in the viewport which gives a lot of freedom to storyboarders and 2d artists among the features are combining 2d with 3d right in the viewport full animation support with onion skinning layers and colors for stroke and fill, and sculpt brush, strokes, and parent to 3D objects. Also Blender comes with the grease pencil object which is a particular type of Blender object that allows you to draw in the 3D space. It can be used to make traditional 2D animation, cutout animation, motion graphics, or use it as a storyboard tool among other things. Number 8. Compositing and Motion Tracking Blender comes with a fully fleshed built-in compositor. This allows you to post-produce your renders without leaving Blender. The compositor comes with impressive library of nodes for creating camera effects, color grading, vignette, and much more. Render layer support, full compositing with image and video files, and the ability to render to multiplayer open EXR files. Blender features a production-ready camera and object tracking, allowing you to import raw footage, track it, mask areas, and reconstruct the camera movement live in your 3D scene, eliminating the need to switch between programs. The camera and object tracking includes automatic and manual tracking, powerful camera reconstruction, real-time review of your tracked footage and 3D scene, support for planar tracking and tripod solvers. Number 9. Video Editing Blender comes with a built-in video sequence editor which allows you to perform basic actions like video cuts and splicing as well as more complex tasks like video masking or color grading. The video editor includes live preview, luma waveform, chroma vector scope, and histogram displays, audio mixing, syncing, scrubbing, and waveform visualization. Up to 32 slots for adding video, images, audio, scenes, masks, and effects. Speed control, adjustment layers, transition, keyframes, filters, and more. Number 10. Scripting With a large community of enthusiasts and developers, Blender comes loaded with a vast array of extensions that you can turn on and off easily. Some existing extensions include generators for trees, terrains, ivy, and clouds, fracture objects, 3D printing toolbox, import and export format support for After Effects, DirectX, and Unreal Engine, and more. If you have a good knowledge in scripting, you can start developing new add-ons and tools that can be used in Blender because it is open source. Technical artists or developers can expand Blender and for those who want to be part of this, they should know how to run scripts in Blender's text editor. They should be familiar with the basics of working in Blender and having a good understanding of Python, C, C++ scripting languages. And finally, you can join a community. With Blender, you can join a community of artists, hobbyists, and professionals because Blender is not just a 3D software, it is actually a community. Whether you are a newbie or an advanced artist, you will find a place in the community. If you have questions you want to ask, there are going to be lots of people who are going to help you to answer these questions and solve your problems or issues. Also, there are lots of free and paid tutorials that you can find online that can guide you to learn more about the software or this 3D program that has a large user base. 
I created this video for beginners and those who don't really know what Blender is and how to use it, explaining all the things you can do in Blender. Of course, there are a lot more things you can do. So if you have something to add, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.